In 2014, presenting the EcoSport model at the Moscow Motor Show, Ford marketers were full of optimism, a crossover with an original appearance, and assembled in Russia, was supposed to select customers from both the Nissan Juke with the Opel Maca and the Renault Duster with the Nissan Tirano. Time passed, the ecological athlete did not become a mass model, and Ford passenger cars left Russia. But the cars remained, including in the secondary market. Should I consider them as a possible purchase? The EcoSport name first appeared in 2003 when Ford's Brazilian Design Center introduced its brainchild, a compact crossover with the factory code BV226, built on the B3 platform, which became the basis for such popular models as the Fiesta and Fusion. The car had front-wheel drive, was equipped with a range of economical engines with a volume of 1 to 2 liters, and quickly became a bestseller in the markets of countries such as Brazil, Argentina, Venezuela, and Mexico. In 2011, sales of the model exceeded 700,000, and the company decided to make its second generation global. Accordingly, the Global B2E platform became the basis for the new car. The development was carried out by the same design center in Brazil, Ehab Cod became the chief designer, and the Delhi Motor Show, which took place in January 2012, became the platform for the presentation of the novelty. In the same year, the production of new items was launched at the Ford Brasilia plant in the city of Kamasari, then, in 2013, EcoSport began to be produced in Indian Chennai and Chinese Chongqing, and in 2014, in Thailand, in Rayong, Vietnam, in Kai Duong, and in Russia, in Neighborizny Chilni. The last of the plants that mastered the assembly of EcoSport was the plant in Craiova, Romania. In accordance with the concept of the global Ford car, the company has provided for each of the potential markets its own range of engines and transmissions. Thus, only Sigma, 1.6 liters, 122 horsepower, or Duratec He, 2.0L, 140 horsepower, gasoline aspirated engines were initially presented on the Russian market, and versions with a 1.6 liter engine had drive only to the front wheels, and all all wheel drive versions received a 2 liter Duratec He exclusively with a 6 speed manual. The 1.6 engine was aggregated either with a 5 speed manual or with a Power Shift 6 DCT 250 robotic pre selective gearbox with a dual dry clutch. We have to admit that EcoSport lost the price war to its main competitors, Renault Duster, Renault Captor, and Hyundai Creta. The situation could be corrected by the release of an updated model, and in 2018 the Russian EcoSport really underwent a serious restyling. The range of modifications has become more logical, only all-wheel drive versions are still equipped with a 2-liter engine, but the engine has become more powerful by 8 horsepower, and received a 6-speed hydromechanical automatic machine 6F35 instead of a manual gearbox. Instead of the inline 122 horsepower 4 Sigma 1.6, the place under the hood was taken by a 3-cylinder Dragon 1.5 TVCT engine with a capacity of 123 horsepower, which could be paired with either a 5-speed IB5 manual gearbox or a hydromechanical automatic transmission 6F15. The power shift robot has been retired. Alas, the prices for the updated EcoSport have become even higher, and the production of such cars in neighbors Nichilni did not last long. Accordingly, there are still very few such cars on the secondary market. But the pre-styling EcoSport is quite enough. More recently, we talked about what technical problems a person who decides to purchase such a car may encounter, but for the sake of completeness, it is worth familiarizing yourself with what its owners think about EcoSport, both those who continue to operate it and those who, who, for one reason or another, have already moved to some other model. Hate number 5. Price the reviews written before 2019, when Ford decided to leave the Russian passenger car market and close all assembly plants, quite accurately confirmed my conclusions about the price positioning of the EcoSport crossover made at the time based on the results of the test on the Kola Peninsula. After buying brand new cars and branded dealerships, the authors of the reviews immediately noted that the car was somewhat overpriced. In terms of comfort and equipment, even then he clearly asked for the price segment where the cars were located for 700 to 800,000 rubles, while in the salon's new cars were sold for 1.1 to 1.2 million. 
Prices rose even more after restyling. But, perhaps, after the departure of the brand, the prices for Ford EcoSport, so to speak, came to the meridian and began to better match the consumer qualities of the model, because such events always lead to a significant drop in prices in the secondary market. And here it is not. Today, EcoSports of the Nizhny Novgorod Assembly are offered for sale at prices ranging from 600,000 to 1.1 million rubles, and cars of 2014 to 2015 can be bought at best for 600 to 650,000. Relatively fresh copies of 2018 are put up for an average of 1 million rubles, plus minus 50,000, and the price for three year plans fits into 700 to 850,000 rubles. Nevertheless, it's still not worth saying that a high price makes a crossover illiquid. There are always people for whom the objective advantages of a car outweigh its disadvantages, including a rather high price. Love number five, maintenance cost and consumption. Indeed, in so many reviews, the authors note that the high purchase price is offset by relatively low operating costs. Firstly, the cost of maintenance is about 10,000 to 15,000 rubles, and the owners find this level quite acceptable, especially in comparison with the crossovers of some other brands. For example, one of them noted that the maintenance of the Suzuki SX4, which he owned before EcoSport, cost at least one and a half times more. Secondly, there are practically no reviews in which the authors would complain about constant breakdowns and significant repair costs. On the contrary, statements like the only repair for almost three years of operation is the replacement of the steering tip under warranty or so far only consumables have changed, God forbid, and so on. And even if breakdowns do happen, they do not turn into regular torture and a powerful blow to the family budget. The rear window heating failed twice, one to two lower threads, both times the glass was changed under warranty. At some point, the trunk stopped opening the trunk lock was replaced under warranty. On both counts, the service says that this happens with EcoSports, but not without exception. At 57,000 kilometers, the handbrake cables finally soured, although I use the handbrake regularly of replacing three cables. Finally, the owners are pleased with the low fuel consumption. Even in the conditions of Moscow traffic jams, as a rule, it does not exceed 10 L-100 km. When driving on the highway on a cruise at a speed of 90 km h the consumption is about 4.5 L-100 km at all and exceeds 5 liters only if you drive at a speed of 110 km h The average consumption, as a rule, in mixed operation is 8.2 to 8.3 L-100 km for a 1.6 liter engine and per liter more in the case of a 2 liter one. At the same time as a cherry on the cake EcoSport digests domestic 92 gasoline without any problems. Hate number 4, cheap interior, hard suspension, climate. In their reviews, the owners unanimously criticized the design and trim of the cabin, which, in their opinion, do not correspond to either the reputation of the brand or the price of the model. The interior is boring and rustic, tidying up is generally a sadness trouble. I have a larger display on my watch, the radio and climate are also with many displays, writes one of the authors. The information display could also be better. It is more in line with a cell phone for 999 rubles. In much cheaper cars, the audio systems look richer. Echoes another. But the point is not only in the tiny displays of the onboard computer and media system. The finish feels cheap. Rough plastic all around. In a car for a million, it was not worth saving so much on everything, including handles for passengers, this is important for someone. Also, the trunk shells in the trend configuration, according to the manager, are not provided. I decided to buy in the store, so they offered for 19,500 rubles. I had to do it myself. The lack of handles above the doors is especially outrageous for many owners because, in their opinion, because of this, both children and the elderly get into the car with great difficulty. Landing in EcoSport is generally associated with certain difficulties due to the sufficiently large clearance and wide thresholds. It is very difficult to take a seat in the cabin without getting your trousers dirty. The authors note the lack of lighting in the glove box, doors, and sills. 
The ladies are upset that there is no backlight in the mirror in the visor, and also that the steering wheel, although it is covered with leather and feels quite soft to the touch, is always icy. The heating of the steering wheel appeared only after restyling. In many reviews, there are complaints about the design of the central armrest they say, if you put your elbow on it, you won't reach the steering wheel, and such an armrest only interferes with driving, and it's inconvenient to fasten the seatbelt because of it. The owners also complain about the lack of driving comfort. Like, we understand that this is done for better handling and stability on the road. But when the car constantly goats on speed bumps, and the road to the dacha is all made up of patches, holes, and bumps, and you literally feel every bump with your hole being it's still too much. Well, a separate group of claims relates to the operation of the air conditioning system. It heats up very quickly, but unevenly, the right leg and arm are already fried, and the left ones are freezing. But it is still possible to cope with this misfortune, and for this it is not necessary to go to the service, I immediately fixed the notorious blowing of one leg on my own, the instructions are on the internet. Love number 4, Ergonomics, Comfort and Useful Options But do not think that all owners unanimously fall on EcoSport for lack of comfort. Not at all. A lot of people think that in general the car is quite comfortable, the equipment includes a lot of pleasant little things, including heated seats, mirrors and a windshield, parking sensors, voice control, it does, however, have its own features that you need to get used to, Bluetooth. Of particular affection is the USB port near the saloon mirror, to which it is so convenient to connect the DVR, and also the fact that the developers, unlike many competitors, did not save on the illumination of the power window buttons. Not bad, according to the owners, things are going well with the organization of the space on the front row, the distance between the driver and the front passenger is normal, as in the Focus, and not back to back, like my friend in the Opel Maka. Among the useful options, a quick interior warm-up mode is noted. When turned on, hot air immediately begins to flow from the ventilation grills even when there is a deep minus outside. In terms of organizing the driver's seat, EcoSport is most often compared with Renault Duster and it is noted that ergonomics are better in the Ford crossover and if something is missing, it is the adjustment of the lumbar support of the driver's seat that the location of the buttons is more convenient and logical that using the keys on the multifunction steering wheel much easier than controlling the media system with a joystick hidden behind the wheel and the audio system itself sounds much better on the positive side they note the location of the media system display and the clock at eye level as well as the fact that the recess under the multimedia screen has exactly the same dimensions as a mid-sized smartphone so you can safely put the screen on yourself and use navigation in addition, many reviews note good sound insulation. The rain sensor is scolded, they say, it lives its own life that is not entirely clear, it will turn on the wipers on almost dry glass, then, on the contrary, it will forget to turn them on when the glass is completely covered with drops, but in general, the authors of the reviews recognize the usefulness of this system. Hate number three, power shift box problems. There is probably not a single review by the owner of the Ford EcoSport 1.6 AMT that does not mention the PowerShift 6 DCT250 robotic preselective dual dry clutch box. This box is quite well known in Russia, since the Ford Focus of the 3 generation was equipped with it, and it must be admitted that it did not prove itself in the best way, at the same time dampening the reputation of the model and the brand as a whole, and not only in Russia. However, specific complaints about breakdowns or incorrect operation are not found in all reviews. Most often, owners complain that after a certain mileage, the box starts to twitch or kick, and auto jargon at 11,000, the box began to pull. You come to the dealer, and there are a few more people like you with the same problem. At the service, they shrug their hands and offer to reflash the box. Helps for 5 to 7 days, and then again the same thing. Sometimes treatment helps, at 20,000 runs, the box began to kick, and the official dealer for 1,000 rubles made an adaptation. The problem is gone. But where are they now, dealers? The only consolation is that the authors of no less number of reviews insist that there is no need to be afraid of a man with a gun, well, in the sense of a robot, 
Whoever considers this box to be bad simply does not have the necessary information. It goes for 200,000 if you switch to neutral when stopping and everywhere in a traffic jam at a traffic light. Despite the different reviews about the robotic gearbox, the robot behaves quite adequately on the car. I have a mileage of 120,000. The box works smoothly without jerks. If you still do not forget to service the box in time, although it is called dry, it requires filling 1.7 liters of special oil, use the sport mode more often in the city, the car will not go faster, but the control module of the box will not rush between 1 and 2 gears, and when overtaking on the highway, especially uphill, to switch to manual gear shifting, then it is quite possible to make friends with power shift. Love number 3, Handling and Dynamics in the City the fact that a rigid suspension is not only bad, but also good, has become a common truth. It is in premium cars that designers still strive to ensure that the suspension simultaneously provides both maximum driving comfort and reference handling, but this is achieved at the cost of a serious complication and increase in the cost of the design. Well, in cars of the budget segment, you have to choose either shift the balance towards controllability or towards maximum softness and smoothness. Ford designers clearly chose handling, and as a result, the same authors who complained about the shaking and the car's tendency to go on obstacles right, road holding is good, cornering is excellent. Driving performance 5, comma the steering wheel obeys perfectly. Only in one review did I come across serious complaints about this parameter. On the road, while driving along the highway, I discovered a problem that the car is unrealistically blown away by a side wind, I have to constantly taxi. I even stopped a couple of times, I thought it was a problem with the tires. Also, the car is very rawly when cornering. As for the dynamics, then everything is somewhat more complicated. On the one hand, in general, the owners admit that there are no special problems, including the most massive 1.6 liter versions, power of 122 horsepower, enough in the city and on the highway. Acceleration is good, the car goes easily, there is no extra noise from the engine. But the 2-liter engine, despite the increase in peak power, does not give any special advantages. I can say about the engine that it wakes up only after 2,000 revolutions. Therefore, if you are not sure, then you should not overtake. Well, since there are many young people among the owners of EcoSport, they express their wishes in a youthful way. There is not enough dynamics on the track. If there were 150 horses, like the Sportage, there would be a car fire. Hate number two, visibility and light. The reviewers unanimously acknowledge that the Ford EcoSport has certain visibility problems. Ahead, it is limited to thick twin A pillars, and small triangular windows do not remove the problem. They are practically useless and serve mainly as a design element. These most unfortunate racks are mentioned in many reviews. I really didn't like the driver's desk on the left. There is no view. It's not like a pedestrian there. You can't see the car. In addition, the strongly tilted windshield glares in clear weather. But the view back also leaves much to be desired. The rear window is small and narrow. The massive door with a reserve hung on it no longer allowed to make it. The side mirrors save the situation, since their size does not cause any complaints, chic rearview mirrors. There are no blind spots at all. Nevertheless, far from everyone knows how to park, focusing in a cargo way, that is, mainly on the side mirrors, so the owners recommend paying attention to the presence of parking sensors. Without them, life becomes much more difficult. Some of the problems could be removed by a rearview camera, but where to display the picture? There is no normal display in the most massive trim levels. There are questions about the headlights. As the owners write in their reviews, the low beam is rather weak for the track, and the far one blinds every second. Love number two, dimensions and compactness. In general, the vast majority of owners do not experience any problems in the city, including with parking, because not the best visibility back through the interior mirror is compensated not only by side mirrors, but also by the compactness of the car. Here, the authors of the reviews literally sing in unison, a wonderful friend for every day. Parking is not a problem, the dimensions are compact, 
dimensions are small, there is no problem to park in a narrow place, the car is perfect for the city, high ground clearance, good dynamics, small dimensions, due to the compact dimensions it is easy to park, after the Ford Focus EcoSport seemed to my wife understandable both in terms of dimensions and dynamics, she sat down and drove off, as if she had always driven. And this compactness helps not only in the city, but we'll talk about this a little later. Hate number one, trunk. Perhaps the owners of the Ford EcoSport consider the small trunk to be the main disadvantage of the model. It is this circumstance that limits the use of this car as a family car, because even in a young family children usually appear, and with them the need to transport first a crib, then a stroller, and then bicycles and furniture for the children's room. Indeed, the trunk volume of pre-styling cars is only 348 liters, and this is if the rear seat backs are installed almost vertically. And if you tilt them back, so that it was somehow comfortable to sit in the second row, it decreases to 310 liters. So the owners write in the reviews, one minus is a very small trunk. If you are traveling alone, you can still fold the rear seats, but when the whole family, then only either a box or a trailer on top, cosmetic trunk, what bothered me the most was a small trunk. As a fisherman, it was not enough for me. The owners do not like the way the transformation of the cabin is organized. For example, the way the seats are laid out clearly does not cause positive emotions. All these additional ropes are only annoying. Others are upset by the fact that the designers of the Brazilian center chose not the most efficient, in terms of the use of internal volume, seat folding scheme. The back rests on the pillow and leans forward with it, eating a very solid part of the increase in usable volume. And because of the brackets that fix the rear seats in their places, the floor in the extended luggage compartment is uneven, so you should not load, say, packages with fruits and vegetables bought on the market, and for a long trip on EcoSport you will definitely need a tent, you can immediately forget about the idea of organizing a sleeping place in the cabin. There are questions about access to the trunk through a side opening door. Some are annoyed by the heavy door that needs to be held, others do not like the fact that when loading and unloading the car must be approached from a certain side, the third thinks that there may not be enough space in the parking space to open the door in this way, the fourth note that if thaw followed by snowfalls, then ice appears on the rear bumper, preventing the fifth door from opening, that in cold weather it can be impossible to close the trunk lock until the car interior warms up. In fairness, we note that there is still no complete unanimity on this issue. Our person can get used to anything and find his positive aspects in everything. The trunk itself is small, but when the seats are installed vertically, for wheels fit, a trip to Oshan with the whole family is acceptable. Six to eight packages are included in the trunk. The trunk seems tiny, but in fact the usable volume is excellent. I transported two bicycles in the cabin. It was easier than they settled down in the Focus. Relatives asked me to take them to the station. Five people fit in the car, three medium-sized suitcases, a backpack, a cooler bag, and a bunch of food bags on the road. I was transporting an IKEA packs rack inside the cabin. In general, the devil is not as scary as he is painted. The main thing is to learn how to play Tetris. Love number one, patency. At one time, it was the cross-country ability of the Ford EcoSport that determined my generally positive impressions of this model during the test in 2016, and it is cross-country ability that its owners consider the main advantage of the car. But the cross-country ability is admired not only by the owners of a relatively rare all-wheel drive version in Russia with a 2-liter Duratechi engine, but also by those who have purchased a mass version with a Sigma 1.6 engine and front-wheel drive. Absolutely all-terrain vehicle. Curbs, rails, and even our roads he does not care. The private sector, lakes, mountains, please. This is just a huge plus, comma, even with a 1.6 engine, it does incredible things in our snowdrifts, comma, they took it solely because of the clearance, the purchase is 100% justified. Until roads, entrances, and races are made in our cottage village, we need a tall car. In winter, it doesn't catch anything along the suburban rut in the village, clearance allowed in winter to pass through uncleaned yards and even over concrete hemispheres. On the first trip to the dacha, I climbed along the ruts that the fishermen left with their nevis and dusters. 
Of course, you need to understand that even all-wheel drive does not turn EcoSport into an uncompromising conqueror of swamps and abysses, but 200 millimeters of ground clearance, together with a short base, make you feel quite confident in many situations. Nevertheless, it is worthwhile to understand that 2-liter cars desperately lack traction at low revs, and you have to turn the engine and actively work the clutch, that when driving on a block viscous coupling, after some time it will certainly overheat, and the car will temporarily turn into real estate. But owners of front-wheel drive modifications can afford quite a lot. It is only necessary to take into account a number of nuances. Firstly, when climbing gravel, neither clearance, nor maneuverability, nor a short base will help. Unloaded drive wheels simply won't get enough traction. Secondly, if you plan to often ride on graders and primers, it is worth installing an additional protective mesh in the lower air intake. Well, one more thing, EcoSport is kind of like a crossover designed for not the richest countries with far from the best road network. But under the hood and in the area of backslash U200 B backslash U200 B wheel arches there are no anthers at all, there is not even protection for the brake discs, which is why they drive them on some cars. As a result, literally anecdotal stories happen, I immediately put protection from below, but it didn't help much. And with the cold, misfortune appeared stray cats strive to climb under the hood, right on the valve cover. There are lots of places there, respectively, there is dirt and the smell of cat meat. In general, if you decide to purchase an EcoSport, ride the village roads with peace of mind, you will not care about bumps and pits. The main thing is to be careful and take care of cats.